Hey, Geeks and Geekheads, it's JC with the Countdown City Geekcast. I'm here with Hercules himself, Mr. Kevin Sorbo. Welcome to San Antonio. Hey, it's good to be here. It's, I've come in here a few times, but it's been a couple years since I've been back, so uh, here I am. Yeah. Uh, still living the Hercules beat. You still uh, you feel like that's something you're going to be living with the rest of your life, unfortunately? Well, no, it's a good thing. Look, seven years in the show that became the most watched TV show in the world. Yeah. 176 countries, still in 60 countries, crazy. But I followed up with Andromeda, so that, you know, I went from... Kirk to Kirk, you know, yeah. so it was a, it was a whole big uh, thousands of years move there. But that, that was a big show, too. So I think I, I kind of got for both those. But it's interesting. I'm getting more and more now from my family movies like Soul Surfer, God's Not Dead, What If, Let There Be Light. Uh, more people stop me for that now than stop me for Hercules when I go through airports. It's interesting. That's pretty cool. Uh, now, this day and age, everything seems to be getting rebooted. Have they ever talked to you about possibly bringing Hercules back for some sort of like TV uh-huh. movie or major thing I'm, or an appearance in a, a young Hercules kind of I'm, thing. I'm way too over the roll now. They could age me up, make, make me be Zeus. But I mean, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. one year, 10 years down the road that they bring it back in some way. I mean, because the show was so popular. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised, but I would love it if they, you know, put me in there somehow. Now you voiced Hercules in God of War 3, yep. which was surprised me playing the games like that. There's no way that's Kevin Sorbo when I was playing it. How different was that voicing it? Because he was more of an evil character in God of War versus the he, hero. He was. They, they, you know, when they do these games and you do the voiceovers for them, there's a director inside there, and they're they're bringing you through what's going on, what's happening, and you'll redo each line like a dozen times in different ways. And I remember I changed my voice just a little bit. It's still my voice, but I get more gruffer and more meaner. And I couldn't talk a couple of days afterwards because <laughs> I was in that booth for three days. And when you sit there and, you know, yell more, I mean, obviously your voice goes away, but... Um, I did a thing called Gen Con, which is just a gamers con in Indianapolis. They could give a crap about Hercules or Andromeda or any of my movies. I must have signed 500 of the God of War game. I wish I'd have brought mine. I completely forgot. Oh, it's crazy, yeah. crazy. So that's a hardcore group. Now, uh, baseball. Yeah. You're at ALCS Game 6. Yep. How, have you, how big of a baseball fan are you, uh, anyway? You know what? I used to love baseball. It was probably my best sport, but it's the one I liked the most, I'll be honest. I was a football, basketball guy through college. That's what I did. But I, but I was a good baseball player. I, was a, I played third base and pitcher, and I was a really good hitter through high school. So um, I, I, I don't really watch as much as I used to. Whenever I visit a city in the summertime or autumn, whenever the cons are going on, I will always go to a game. When I go back home to Minnesota, where I'm from, I always get, we'll see a couple games there. But when it comes to playoff time, I pretty much watch it all. Yeah, that, that's the best time to watch, yeah. too. Uh, any uh, first pitch stories you have? Did you ever get to throw a first pitch at a game? I've thrown a number of first pitches. The very, very first time I ever did it was in Chicago at Wrigley Field for the Cubs. As I walked out uh, there, I was, you know, I was doing Hercules. And, you know, I'm 6'3". I was 230 back then, long hair, ripped up, and people are yelling at me. There are people, are, I mean, not saying nice things as I walked out. Chicago. There. Oh, my God. <laughs> so all I said is, please just get it across the plate because – they had just called a winner. They call a ticket number from the seats. A little 11-year-old girl comes up. They move her 30 feet in front. She threw it and still landed short of the, of the, of the base, of home plate. They boot her. 11-year-old girl. So I just said, just get it. So I was high for a ball, but it was across the plate. And how was your uh, take me out to the ball game uh, rendition? Oh, it was perfect. I got great. I, I got, I've, I've got seven octaves I can go. Any uh, predictions for the World Series? I know it's 2-1 Nationals right now. Are you rooting for my Strohs? Uh, I, I am. Cause I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an American League guy, so I'll, I'll always cheer on the American League team once they get to the, there. And I wanted my twin, twins to go, but every time they win the division, they play against the Yankees and lose every bloody time. So yeah. uh, we'll, we'll see what happens this go around. But I was shocked that uh, Houston lost both games at home. I was shocked. You know, uh, I'll talk a little baseball here, but, yeah, the, the bats just didn't come alive, and this last game they finally woke up, I yeah. feel like. They well, the pitching wasn't great either for them. You know, the, this time the pitching – because they got the best pitching staff in, the, in them both, both all the majors. So – um, they looked tough yesterday. I watched it. Yeah. And uh, you say your football, basketball. Any predictions for the champions this season for the, those sports? Um, basketball. I'm gonna go. I don't think it's too far. I'm gonna go with Milwaukee. Ooh, okay. We'll see what happens. I'm taking a dark horse, but they're, they're certainly in the top five or six teams out there right now. And then for football, it's hard to go against Brady, man. <laughs> Right now, especially. It's amazing. Well, they got a, they're probably one of the best defenses they've ever had. Their offense, I think, is going to wake up. I think he misses Gronk. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, but I, I, I'd love to say my, my Minnesota Vikings, they got a good team. But um, we'll see what happens. All right. And uh, finally, what's your favorite type of Mexican food? I don't know if you make it down to San Antonio very much. What do you enjoy eating when you get down here? Uh, enchiladas. Jimmy's enchiladas, man. I'll get, I'll get a, 
I'll get a beef, a chicken, and a cheese. And then give me all the rice and beans, please. Right. Uh, for the Counter City Geekcast, I'm JC. Thank you again, Mr. Kevin Sorbro. I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Hey guys, AJ Nyland here. For more Geekcast episodes, subscribe to us on iTunes or your smart device podcast app. And please, write us a review. Be sure to like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Countdown City Geekcast. Follow us on Twitter at CCG underscore podcast or visit our website at www.countdowncitygeekcast.com.